Hello everybody, it is I, uh, Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time we we got Larry Butts uh, a not a not guilty verdict for the murder of Cindy Stone. Uh now we left off with this phone call. Hello, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault! Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to have having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I I know, I know, you want me to hold you want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like uh, that statue, the finger. It tells you the time. God damn it! That thing is always gonna come back to haunt us, huh? I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. Put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like... Burgers! I could really go for a good burger! Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27am. September 5th, 8.57, Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, ho, you're not cog cognivious of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I should have been more careful. Oh, oh, my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry, but I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Ah, jeez. God damn it. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay, this guy. Okay, this guy <laughs> looks like a pimp. Well, at least we, well, well, at least we know who the, uh, who, the, who we're supposed to look for, perpetrator-wise. Obviously, I've played the case before, so I'm just only saying that just, uh, just for, well, you get, you get the gist. 908, thank Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me? She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Wait, Phoenix, how can you smell blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office? Examine. Oh, I have to do this shit? Ew, gro- Oh, okay, don't have to actually- Okay, I don't- Okay, I can, I can click anywhere and okay. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on, back. Move. Office. That smell. Blood. This. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Oh. Who are you? Up and. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on this on the office sofa. 
I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could I could feel it when when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly it began to fade. Till finally she was cold. God damn it! Oh oh, oh look look, look at me as corpse! Oh my god! Look at the blurring! Oh god! You can tell this was made for the Game Boy Advance originally. Jeez. Also, I'm not joking. So so one thing I think people forget about Ace Attorney is that in Japan, it came out for the Game Boy Advance. And when it came to America, or overseas rather, it, it was released for the DS. Chief. Well, time to examine. Alrighty then. Some shards of glass scattered on the floor. They seem to be remains of a glass light stand. Alrighty. Obviously, Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there's any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. God damn it! Hmm, there are some glass shards near the Chief's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else to seem to be. Hmm? Piece of paper. It must have fallen out of me in sand. What could it be? Oop. Oh, damn it! Hold on. Court record? Damn it. Uh. Oh, I can't. There, there's no way to, uh. This piece of paper is received from the department it started dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what that girl's doing here. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't, don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. So Mia's writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Well, let's talk to you. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis... Sis... So she was already dead. So you... So you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister. And you're here visiting. Uh, this late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it was... It was that clock. It was the thinker. Alrighty then. Well, we might as well show her this. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That, 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 that's my name! What, why? Why would she, would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why... Why would Sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Better hurry up and call the police. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think- I don't think we need to move anywhere. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just gonna check this plant. There's the reception desk. I usually sit here. You couldn't cram more legal books in here even if you wanted to. Few can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. Uh, okay, anything else? Ooh. Small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. Shit! I, I, uh... <laughs> hit out the game. A large painting. Guess you call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. <laughs> Savage is always, uh, Phoenix. The door to the chief's office is slightly open. Better not touch the doorknob. And the couch. The sofa is for clients. Leather. A real luxury model. Oops, shit. Shit. Alright. Uh. Alright, I. I don't know what else I should really be doing here. So.
let's see, what, why is it, okay, well, let me move back into the office. There's a large building right across the office. The Gatewater Hotel. Nice, luxurious place. Let's see. Is there anything else we can find here? The Fanco Ledger Book. Everything is written in the Chief's Ultra Neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Surprisingly, the Chief was never good with machines. About all she uses PC for was emails. She picked it up. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. There we go. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Well then. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about offer office decor. Spend big on the stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. All right, uh... The chief's chair. Simple fun functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in it, too. All right, I don't think there's anything else here because I save a log but I have to for me a sake and then the thinker it's encrusted with dried blood how ironic that this became the murder weapon again all right well back and move back into Fanko Wee -woo! the police sound like they're coming this way Freeze, police! Yay! This guy! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received a report from the from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek! This word, Maya, here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. K killer? I'm not... Case closed! You're coming down to, to the precinct, ma'am. God damn it, gumshoe. But what? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. Sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. And this is a common theme with Maya. She gets arrested for zero fucking reason. She's just extremely unlucky. Wow, they, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! It's you, the lawyer. Good good morning. Good morning. She looks tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. You would, of course I will. First thing first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Of course I will! Cheer up! R really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? Don't you don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked like you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no. I, I never thought. It, it's okay. I understand. And I have also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. 
The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think he might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Damn it, Mia! Have some faith in me! Come on! That's what she said! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, insult you. No, 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 it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I just can't sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this, Mia... I know. Let's examine a room. Look at this guy! Look at this stud! Discards monitor to visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Uh... No clues here. Camera. Smile for the camera. And nothing else, nothing else here. All right, uh, let's talk. Maya, there's something I've been waiting, wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with the outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolyte? Like people in religious training? What is it that you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Uh, 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 sp spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Uh, day of the crime. Can, could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for our upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that, how could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear, hear it in your own voice? Her own voice? Yes. Pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to del I forgot how to delete those things. Ah, oh, jeez. So, you say you have your conversation, conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective come to you, I'll ask him for it. I'll, I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. By his memo, a conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Alright, spear mediums. So you're an acolyte, uh, or medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said Faye family. So, Mia was into this stuff, too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I, I, I had no idea. Hmm, wait. What? So, you're real honest to go into the spirit medium, with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia Spears, then? We just asked her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought that would be too easy. Um, huh? Something to matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And while I'm in trouble, do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure. Sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no el I have no one else to turn to. Come on, I'm standing right in front of you. Come on. Say, what about your parents? I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 at ten o'clock. What? What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Save the crime. No, oh, it's okay. I've been doing this during the last few hours... All I've been doing is the last few hours is talking about it. I kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. Blah blah blah. So when did you arrive? I, it was around nine o'clock. The, the the lights were off and I could smell blood. How can you guys smell blood? But then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Alrighty. Well, we have a few things we need to do. First thing first. Uh, Fayco, Fayco Law, yep, September 6th, Fayco Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal, no trespassing. Um, sorry, I, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butt guy, aren't you? 
No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butt guy, he was a killer, and you are no- And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent! Um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? The Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't- And don't go calling me Dick. <laughs> hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. But be right there. Oh, I love Gumshoe. Um, ahem. You're, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quickly. Woo, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Uh, let's talk to you. About Miss Fade. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm, you want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Uh, Mia's autopsy report. Time of death. Uh, September 5th at 9 o'clock. Cause of uh, cause of death, single blood force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Maya? Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this one, this one you are gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put... The city's put... Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edge Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That that's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh let's just say of course I do. I know him. He's a feared pros prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilt guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make it. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He has a lost case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates his crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. We're going to be seeing Edgeworth a lot. Present. Maya's memo. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Okay, I, I can't be straight with this guy, but what if I should tell him? Something to matter? Oh, no, um... That carrying strap on the cell phone. This, hmm, it says, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of a Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai, that action here on TV. Yeah, you see, that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That's what she said? Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here we go. He seemed, seems he didn't notice the recorded conversations. What was the conversation between Chief and Maya? Check the court record. Check the court record to hear the conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to, the, to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyer, lawyerly ways, pal. I'm thinking, man. I completely forgot about her. The witness. Yeah. Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about that. Well, you just told me your name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Haha! <laughs> you're trying to, you're trying your lawyer, uh, lawyer, lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not, she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. Guess I should know. I guess I should know better than to try and get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Ah, uh, good old Gumshoe. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Move. Let's, vi let's visit the the detention center. Uh, show Maya we got her phone. Hey, I got your phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity before long tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Anyway, I believe that's... Yeah, I believe that's everything. So, 
Next up is this place. September 6th, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard keeping track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Let's examine. That painting has... That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The, the oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to squeeze, sneeze at either. That's for sure. Alrighty then. Uh, expensive looking uh, mahogany uh, bookshelves filled with uh, expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. The table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter's made out of solid gold. Even I can tell he's got money to burn. Okay. An expensive plot, pot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Okay. Well, it's clear he's not here now. Let's let's head over to the Gatewater Hotel. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're, you're that lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Hee <laughs> My own self. Take Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, gee this is all, all like something out, out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me get... Go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Oh, what's this? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Oh, let's go take a look. Hey! <laughs> hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy. You're, you really you really shouldn't pry around in, 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 the other, in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode there for a second. But I wonder what could be inside that drawer. Well, let's talk to her. What you witness? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you served at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident. You sound you sound just like a, the, a lawyer in the movies. I'd like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better than encourager. Er, you know that thing uh, that occur, um, happened the other day. The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Ah, shit. Miss May. Uh, could you, like... Could you just... Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, 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 no. You see, I already, I already have a girlfriend, so, uh, no thank you. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. He, <laughs> You know, you're, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I blush this much. Um, <laughs> Right, can you just tell me what I what it is you do? Well, no, D no, 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 D you have, you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Ah, this room. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what an amazing powers of observation. Must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me, I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the, gar in the garbage, hmm? Miss, Miss May doesn't like a nosy little lawyers, hmm. Ah, yep, she's she's not even going to want to talk. Well then, uh, well, let's go see if, uh, hmm. Ahem! Wait, if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the third I've ever heard. Aha, uh -huh, so you're the, you're the one they say has been looking for me. Um, y yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that brag on your collar. Ah, uh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy. Then how come you, no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something to matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What did you want? Out with it. Um, well, 
Sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Fey. Oh, God. Ah, yes. Maya Fey, go on. Mm, what a strange reaction. Uh, ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial's tomorrow? Uh, um. Uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on here? Refuse me before I even get a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Alrighty, well, let's talk to him a bit. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me, why won't you take the case? Hmm? <laughs> well, you see, it's just, uh, I'm busy, you see. Sick, but the client's... But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Hmm, ahem. Mia trusted you. She, she knew... Uh, oh, sorry. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go, I'll go look elsewhere. Uh, I think not. What, did you say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their soul will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, bud. Could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Mia. How'd you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back that one. That painting. That's quite a painting you got there. Aha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. I'm not buying. Jeez. Alrighty. Well then. Uh... Let's head back to, to the detention center. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do we tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I really don't think he should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Mm. I see. I've been abandoned then. Your family. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know, so she could still be alive. The one my family have been mediums for generations. They, they, <clears throat> they say a lot of spiritual power runs in her blood. About 15 years ago, her family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... he he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So you, so you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, and also, I had to become independent, or or I wouldn't lose my, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by, all by herself up on that mountain. So. Who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It, it made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, so they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use the spearman medium, didn't they? The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The, my, the man my mother helped, the police capture, was innocent. The police consultation with the medium had all been had all been carried on secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked, leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Or PM. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her? No, I'm defending her. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me or not. Why? 
Why? Well... <laughs> I don't know why. I can't abandon you! Come on, now! No one's, no one's as sad as a person without any friends. I know, I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone had to look out for people who have, who have no one on their side. Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right, thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entire, entirely different person. One last question. You're, you're innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Hmm. Well, let's try let's try and see if we can uh, get in there again. Good afternoon, sire. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sire. Oh, right. I just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using er, the er, facilities. If you no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No. Hey. Why does, why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, that's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I, almost, ah, I almost forgot. Nah, you came back so quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that, that there's a message for her? Please tell her... Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phone. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Well, we have free reign of the of the room now, so a bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's fe there's the Fay and Co. law office this building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a, lo a little difficult to recognize the face from the distance, though. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips. But that's all the about the extent of my floral knowledge. Uh, bed. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Ah, I still see painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. And then finally, there's a screwdriver sticking out of the open drawer. And that's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wire tap. Hmm. What, what would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Found in Miss May's hotel room. There's definitely something su suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind it. I know this. All right. I'll be using this bit of this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this, to this woman's bottom. Wait. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy still there? Uh-oh. Time to scram. Look forward to... Look forward to tangling with you tomorrow, Miss May, in court. To be continued. Yep. Now, I'm not going to end the episode here. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I will end the episode here. So, if you got... So, th this is going to be the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content... Please consider subscribing, as I, I would really appreciate it. Uh, like and comment. Uh, subscribing would would help uh, the channel grow. Uh, like and comment to help push this video in the, on the algorithm. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're going to be going to trial. Until then, see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.